Yo, so um, I just came across some news articles around Turo. So if you guys aren't familiar with Turo, it's a car, uh, like it's like Airbnb for cars. So you can rent your car out, you can put it on this platform and rent it out, and then other people can use it and um, borrow it for weeks at a time, days at a time, hours at a time, whatever may have you. So they are reported to go public pretty soon. And the reason why I found out about it is because two of my favorite um, gentlemen that run a park podcast earn your leisure they uh, happen to interview someone that uh, an entrepreneur that rents cars via Turo and you know makes it quite a bit of money and then another one of my you know um, friends or I'm gonna say like acquaintances mentors uh, he and a couple athletes that he like works with invested in Turo so I uh, wanted to talk about Turo as a way for athletes to make money and how they can kind of get involved with Turo. Obviously, if you had the opportunity to invest, then like a Larry Fitzgerald and uh, some other athletes that have invested, that's good as well. But Turo is a great way for you to make passive income. And it's a great way for athletes that like to, you know, live a high life or live a life where they were rewarded or they want to reward themselves for the hard work and the money that they've earned um, so it's, it's no secret that you know athletes by and large have nice luxury cars so if you wanted to make money and didn't want to pay outright for your car for example if you had like an Audi or a Range Rover, you could put the car on Turo so that when you're not using it, you can rent it out. So essentially, you're buying an asset. A lot of people think, you know, a lot of people, it's like the rule of thumb or it's been common knowledge that like once you buy a car, once it's off the lot, it loses its value. So this is a great way to spin it from the standpoint of, all right, I bought a car and it's lost its value. It's known as a depreciating asset, but you can kind of flip the script. So you kind of kill two birds with one stone. I'm able to have a nice car that I like and I'm able to decrease the cost or even almost potentially make money on the cost of the car by renting it out when I'm not using it. So for example, my schedule, you know, we go to practice at eight, we get off at 12. And if I don't have any like errands or anything to do, I'm usually at the house the whole time. So that's 12 hours for me to rent the car uh, on, or put it on Turo so for someone to rent the car and then I'm able to get money. And this is something that you could do three, four, five days out the month and make up the cost of your monthly payment or how much it costs for gas per month or your insurance. These are unique ways to take an expense and wipe it wipe it off your budget by simply figuring out ways to make money off of what you already have and turning assets into you know cash flow. So thought you guys might be interested in that. For more information, make sure you guys check out uh, a frugal athlete, but I think it's a unique way for athletes that want to have the nice car or want to, you know, reward themselves with a the nicer vehicle, but don't want to have to worry about the, the the cost that it has on a month to month basis. Turo is a way to take care of that. Obviously, there's, you know, with every opportunity, there's some pros and cons, you know, the fact that you're going to have someone that you may not know um, using your, your car. Um, that's a risk that you got to be willing to take, but there's a dashboard you can accept, you can de delete, you can decline, whatever it may have you if you're not comfortable. Um, I've used Turo, but this is not an ad or anything of that sort. I've used Turo and I was able to, you know, make like $400 for a weekend, you know, for my car. So at the time that I had the car that I had. So if I had known, I would have, you know, continued to do that or been better about marketing my car on Turo, but it was more of me just kind of trying it out, trying to see what it's like. I'm really big on like side hustles and figuring out different ways to build income streams. That's something that I'm definitely gonna explore down the road, um, just not right now with my situation where I'm at, but um, yeah, getting off topic here. Turo is a great opportunity for you guys. Just wanted to bring it up since, uh, you know, it's kind of a topic of discussion um, right now. So shout out to the athletes that you know, are taking advantage of Turo, whether they're investing or whether they're using the platform. Um, it's a great, it's a great resource. And there's other platforms and competitors that are similar to Turo. So don't be feel like, don't feel like you're hamstrung to one, to one outlet.